Hi guys. So, uh, to start off, a quote that I found in the book, um, it's on page 113. At the top it says, maybe giving parents a choice to opt their children out of the lessons if they want to treat like schools do sexual education, basically. And then it says, Eck Lewis was not sure he would keep his son out of the lessons, but he wanted the choice. Okay, so um, the first question is talking about teachers. So I felt that um, they were positive. Some of the teachers were positive, and they wanted to teach about the various cultures. And um, all the teachers, it seemed like they behaved okay, you know. But um, as far as the parents go, some parents agreed that the teacher should teach education, I mean, teach religion to the students, and other parents disagreed on it, so it's basically like the teacher's own. Every family has their own opinion about it. Um, I noticed in the story, one of the parents suggested to the teacher of giving them opportunity to send letters out to the parents, like giving them a heads up, and I felt like that would be helpful because then it won't be like they're just getting an assignment about religion and they don't understand how to grasp it or how to interpret it. Interpret it. Um, and I like the idea, in the media, it mentions a lot about killings and abortions and that just overall is a broad topic overall. Um, the administrators, I felt like um, they, when the people killed, I mean not killed, when the people fired the mask, they didn't really, it's like they just didn't really care about it. Like they weren't upset about who did it and why did they do, why did they do it. And then also I mentioned about questioning about discussing the religion and transforming into the manly schools. I feel like that's more beneficial because it's it's included into the school. It's not just a regular subject that needs to be mentioned with the other curriculums. Um, so for media behavior, I put negative energy, abortion, and about George Taylor being killed. Um, the next question involves about um, what it means to allow students to opt out of the class. So I put it means receiving the choice to learn about religion because some children might not, some students might not want to learn about it or they might find it, they might not find of interest to it or understand the purpose of why it's important to learn about it. Um, the next question talks about what is unspoken message. I felt like not allowing the students the right to learn about religion and understand the importances. Because I felt like it was more so like the parents' choice in a sense, which it is, the, I mean, it makes it makes sense for the teachers to have, to give the parents permission. I mean, uh, I wrote it wrong. It makes sense to have the teachers provide permission from the parents to teach the child religion because some, some religions, they don't allow you to learn about other religions. It's just your religion of Christianity or, um, any other of it that was mentioned in the book. Um, so as far as the teacher goes, I feel like they didn't really know what was going on. I feel like they didn't really know the content compared to it. Also in the book, it talked about during one of the lessons, I believe her name was Miss Carp, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. Any rate, um, she ended up asking the student how to pronounce words, what the words meant, and everything of that nature. And I felt like, as a teacher, I feel like she should have known herself, like, what the religion was overall, why it's important, and everything. I just felt like she should, she shouldn't have to rely on the teacher. I mean, it's one thing to not understand how to say a word, but if the student don't know how to say the word, then how is that? That's not benefiting the teacher or the student because neither person knows how to pronounce the word. Um, as far as the knowledge goes in it, I felt like 
they the teachers didn't really present it. I mean, I feel like they understood it. Like one of the teachers was Wendy Turner. And I mentioned that she was uncomfortable with teaching religion just overall. I felt like she knew a little bit about it in the book, but she didn't know it in depth, like to where she explained the purpose, the knowledge, what the similarities between one religion and another, between Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. I felt like she, all the teachers, just didn't have the type of knowledge. And as far as the core knowledge goes, I feel like that it makes sense to have it in all classrooms for all grades. Um, I feel like for the core knowledge, I feel like they weren't as prepared. Like, I feel like if they would have had, like, I don't know, maybe, I mean, I, I don't know, but I feel like if they had workshops or, like, knowledge prior to becoming a teacher, I feel like they would have a better philosophy and understanding about why learning about different various religions is important. I found um, this book, I like reading this chapter in particular because I was able to really picture everything happening and it made me rethink a lot about how parents feel about, about putting their child in a school where they're learning about various religions because some parents might not want their child to learn about religions and some parents do or in this case some of the teachers felt like um sending home a lesson during the week before the lesson so that way they can understand it better they can understand it better to know that okay this is what the assignment, this was this is what the lesson is going to be about beforehand, you know, so they have a heads up about the lesson. So it's not no surprise worksheet about Christianity that they have to do that was mentioned in the book. And the parents don't understand how to do it. You know, I would rather for me as a teacher, I would rather give my parents a heads up or even a letter saying that what the lesson is gonna be about for the week. What's it going to be intensive of, you know, what the homework might be like or what we're going to be like, what type of activities we'll be doing. Because I feel like you can't, like with religion, our religions in general, I feel like you can't just like, okay, say, hey, we're going to talk about religion. That's kind of vague. And it's like you have to have, like, it just makes sense to give parents a heads up to know that this topic is about to come up. You know, so they can be aware, like, okay, I want my child to know about this religion, or I don't want my child. You know, every parent has the right to say what they do or what they don't, you know, want their child, you know, to learn. But I feel like religion overall is very important because without it, they won't know. Like, many children nowadays might not know what Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, any of those, they might not know what those are. You know, I mean, they might have seen them in the textbooks, but they don't know what it means, what their tradition, traditions are, the holidays, practices, what they believe, if they have one God or more gods. You know, I just felt like it it makes sense to have clarification from the parents. And then as the teachers, it makes sense to always have, like, knowledge. Like, it knowledge is power and that will come a long way especially in this case because I just feel like um the core knowledge of it is grasping and understanding and making sure you articulate all the content in every area for every grade and every subject to make sure they have the foundation of what they need what you want them to know you know before they move on you know to the ne next grade um, I also put um, about relying on the students to help with um, pronunciation. So, like, I noticed in the book, they miss, she mentioned the teacher had struggled with pronouncing the word, and she asked the student, but that's okay, you know, because some teachers might not know how to pronounce, I mean, might have difficulty pronouncing some words they've never seen before. But at the same time, it's like you have to have that foundation of knowledge. Okay, well, thank you. Bye.